Gold Cup fever has hit our shores and brands are doing their utmost to create hype and enforce this carnival culture. But as a brand, you still need to advertise your service or products and not just create a brand that gets the blood pumping and forms goosebumps, or do you? We are now joined by executive for brand and sponsorship at Telcom, Stuart Tudor Owen, and the creative director at the Agency for Advertising and Marketing, Bruce Anderson, who will give us some insight into the adrenaline-filled commercial. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, it certainly gets Thank the you. blood pumping and the feet tapping. Tell us about the concept for for this commercial. Well, the, this uh, commercial actually is this uh, sort of latest in a series of ads that we've done for uh, for Telcom. Uh, the first few ones were really about preparation for the World Cup. So earlier creative uh, executions showed you know real people. So we actually had Telcom employees in the ad showing them preparing, getting the stadiums ready, the connectivity, the broadcast center, that type of thing. But the sort of the interesting thing there was we use real people, which made it interesting. Then we had another ad which followed up, which was a little bit more technical and talking about the actual technology. So you know the fiber optic cable going into the ground, the actual work going on at the stadiums, the sort of real world class infrastructure that we were building. And then this ad, now that we're literally a couple of days away from the World Cup, was purely to kind of ride the wave of excitement around uh, the tournament and then our involvement as a national sponsor. So that's why it's really just about people saying, or well the ad saying, we're now ready, so sit down and just enjoy the, enjoy the World Cup. Bruce, how did you get up, uh, um, how was the concept born? Well, the, the insight was based on um, uh, this very simple thought that, you know, one, as Stuart mentioned, once all that technology was put in place, and everything's done and we're ready to go. Um, what else is there to do but to just really kind of like sit down and enjoy the World Cup? Mm. I mean, that's it. And I mean, for the fans around the world, you know, you think it's a World Cup in South Africa, but really the magic of the World Cup is it's about fans throughout the world, you know, throughout Africa, throughout the rest of the world. And I think um, Telcom's global technology enables fans to sit down and actually enjoy the World Cup and mm. see it. Eve, your thoughts on the campaign? Um, I absolutely love the ad. It's definitely goosebump stuff. Um, and I think in terms of it um, being a progression, uh, the story, it makes a lot of sense. Um, but the one issue that I do have about it, and I'm sure it's, it's, it's something that other brand managers are looking and going, God, I wish that was my ad. <laughs> but on the other end of it, I think there is a possibility that you could take the brand off the end and it could be somebody else's ad if you took away your progressive um, campaign. So that would be my only issue, but I mean, it's a magnificent ad and it, and it will definitely be remembered. I wonder if people will remember that it's a talk on that. Your response to that, Stuart? I think that's a fair comment. It's something we debated long and hard mm -hmm. um, through, the, through the early stages. Um, there are a number of brand cues in the ad, which people are picking up. You know, we do sort of test these things, if you like, beforehand. Yeah. I think the other thing to bear in mind is that it, this is the TV ad, but it's part of a bigger campaign. Um, and if I can, you know, we've got Absolutely. some radio uh, that goes around this, which is a number of executions around sit down. We've got a number of those. We've got, uh, it's in cinema as well, the same execution. So, but people are seeing it again. We've also got it in newspaper. We've bought special okay. features in the press as well. Um, and just coming back to the radio, a lot of it talks about sit down and world class technology. So that mm -hmm. the idea there is with the media schedule, we've got that exactly that people will kind of get the campaign rather than the ad. Bruce, let's talk about the production. Gosh, it looks like quite intensive. Tell us about the locations, the people. Well, initially the objective was uh, to tell a kind of a, a story about the World Cup. And the objective was to, to reinforce that aspect that, uh, 
you know, the tel telcon technology is going to enable this to be broadcast around the world. So initially it was conceptualized that we have to show people from all walks of life, everybody all around the world really enjoying the cup. It's not just about those people that are going to be lucky enough to be in the stadium uh, on the 11th of July next year, but <laughs> it's about the rest of the world. It's about those people and how these people through this technology are really going to benefit from it. Mm. So that was the initial concept. Obviously, uh, budget constraints being <laughs> a very realistic concern, we, we couldn't go around the world to shoot a thing. I would have loved to have done that, sure. but, uh, <laughs> but we couldn't do that. So in, in fact, what we've done is a lot of smoke and mirrors and the whole production was shot on location in Gauteng. Is there anything else in store? What can we look forward to? Well, what's happened is it's running now. You've got the 60 second and obviously we'll uh, later and closer to the tournament or during the tournament we'll reduce that down and we'll start doing a few different things. And then after the World Cup, without giving too much away, we've also got a follow up just to kind of close off, I suppose, our mm. World Cup strategy, which has been running for some years now. I talked about the build up and the other ads and then this will be kind of wrapped up as well. Excellent. Stuart, 